Hi folks, just a quick video showing you a construction trick I discovered recently. It's how to make a bearing that turns like this into a bearing that turns as freely as this. This type of bearing is called a roller bearing, and I've used this type quite a bit. For example, for the rollers in my 555 timer music player. First I remove the seals. Those seals were creating some friction, and the bearing now turns like this. A bit of an improvement. That greenish gel-like material you see inside is the grease. To begin removing it, I first use some WD-40. WD-40 acts as a lubricant, just like the grease does, but it's also great for removing grease. Now the bearing actually spins a bit. Next, I remove the WD-40 itself. To do that, I use paint thinner. I put the bearing in the paint thinner and turn it a bit so the paint thinner can get between the parts. After letting it sit for a bit, I rinse out the paint thinner with hot water. After letting it dry, it now turns like this. Much, much better. But that grease is normally there for a few reasons. One reason is to act as a lubricant. The purpose of a lubricant is to keep the metal parts from touching each other. The lubricant gets in between the parts. If the parts touch each other during use, then over time they could wear down. Another reason is that grease acts as a sealant to help prevent water and other materials from getting in between the parts. If the metals are contacting each other at high speed, then they could heat up, causing damage over time. Grease reduces that heat buildup and helps move the heat away. So by removing the seals and the grease, we've allowed all those possible problems to happen. However, if you're making something that won't run fast, or for long periods of time, and won't be exposed to water and dirt, then this should work fine. Well, thanks for watching. See my YouTube channel, Rimstar.org, for other fun and informative videos like this. That includes one about my 555 timer music player, which uses these types of bearings, one showing my large homemade gyroscope, which also uses these types of bearings, and my very cool homemade solar sight survey tool, which uses rollerblade bearings. And don't forget to subscribe if you like these videos, or give a thumbs up, or leave a question or comment below. See you soon!